And that means in top spots, I'm going for Wrexham. It's just really hard to predict this table without putting Wrexham top of the league. So then, can Wrexham really do it? Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about Wrexham and their journey in the National League so far this season. Before we get into this video, you know the drill. Make sure to smash that like button. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And let's have a little look at Wrexham coming into this season, how they're performing for this season, and do I think Wrexham can actually get promoted from the National League this year. So then guys, looking at Wrexham's history as a club before we actually go into this season, it could do with a separate video. There's a lot of ups and downs with this club. They're a proud club. And like I say, they spent a lot of time in the top four divisions before being in the National League, which is the fifth tier of English football for the past 13 years. You can see there they've bounced up and down the divisions, even making appearances in the second tier of English football. And... Who knows where they could go as a club. I certainly think they will be able to fight their way back up the divisions. But like I say, 13 years now in the National League. Been a couple of spikes up and down. They've come so close in so many seasons to getting up. I really think they could do it this season. So like I say, 13 years in the National League. They really are a club that are fighting to get out of it. But it is competitive. There's big clubs in this division. There's a lot of clubs fighting to get up. And only two get promoted. Let's have a look at how Wrexham's season's gone on then. So they started the first game at home to Eastleigh. It was a 2-1 win. Having to do it the hard way, coming from behind, Langston gave Eastley the lead, but Elliot Lee coming back with two goals for Wrexham to win that one late on. And we're going to go to see how good Wrexham's home form has been so far this season. A priceless first win there for a team that really do need to be a pace setter. They followed it up with a 1-1 away at Yeovil. Paul Mullen this time scoring, but this time the points were taken from them from a leading position. Still got a draw though. Linton coming back with a 1-1 draw against a Yeovil side, which I'd expect to be around mid-table this season. So, not a disaster. We'll move on to the next game, Chesterfield. Now, these are a club that I expect Wrexham to be competing with for the automatic promotion. Them and Notts County. Chesterfield at home, recording a 2-0 win. King and Banks. Chesterfield, also a team that missed out on promotion last season in the playoffs like Wrexham. After that, Wrexham picked up a comprehensive win beating Maidstone United at home 5-0 3-0 up at half time really comprehensive there as Wrexham showed their quality they followed it up with a 3-2 win away at Woking Hayden getting a couple of goals there really entertaining game which went back and forth Woking were down to 10 men but a priceless away win for Wrexham followed it up with a 3-1 home win against Gateshead you can see they're picking up a bit of momentum now two goals up in 10 minutes Mullin making the win safe about 12 minutes from time there against a decent Gateshead side which have just come up. Another side that have newly promoted are Dorking Wanderers. Wrexham won there 5-0 Wow, that's very impressive on the road. I know Dorking Wanderers are newly promoted, but um, yeah, Wrexham went about their business really professionally there. 3-0 up at half-time. Wrexham followed it up with a 4-1 win over Dagen Red. Dagen Red pulled one back in injury time, but yeah, once again, very convincing. You can see Wrexham aren't just grinding results out. Their quality is showing. The quality in this squad is just too much, to be honest, and you can see they're definitely going to be up at the top end of the table based on these results. It was followed with a goalless draw away at Southend United. Southend are a funny team. I think they really should be pushing towards the top end, seeing as they're a team that haven't long come down from the Football League. But you can see it's so competitive in this division. Another point on the road. They followed it up with a convincing 6-0 win against Torquay United. By the way, some of the home crowds as well. Uh, 9,900 I believe for this game. Nearly 10,000. That's great considering their ground holds about 10,000. Um, put them to the sword. 3-0 up at half time. Six different goal scorers, which is quite something as well against Torquay, who I believe are a bit of a tricky customer usually when they go up against Wrexham. Torquay are a club I have quite a lot of respect for in the National League. They got to the playoff final of the National League just a couple years ago and uh, Wrexham really putting them to the sword. And then their most most recent game, wow, it was dramatic. 2-1 away at Oldham, and once again, they left it late. Toza with the equaliser. Mullin with a 96th minute penalty, winning the game against Oldham Athletic, who are also a big club stuck in this division. It leaves Wrexham top of the table after 11 games. Eight wins, and you can see there the form is really, really good. They're looking really good. Something we can look at is the home and away table. So see how they're performing in both of those. Wrexham at home, I've been brilliant, like I say. Faultless, five wins from five, 20 goals scored. That's an average of four goals per home game. 
That's incredible. Only three conceded as well. I mean, that is ju that's just blowing everyone else apart. I know Bromley are above them, but Bromley have played one more home game. And um, <laughs> they've only scored half of the goals Wrexham have scored at home. Away from home is maybe where Wrexham are going to need to improve. But if they keep up a faultless home record, they will be up there. Uh, but you can see Wrexham's still fifth. And they've only lost the one away game. And that was earlier on in the season. Like I say, since then, three wins and a draw in their last four away. So, like I say, it leaves Wrexham top. But this is the thing, it's so competitive, and I said at the start of the season, I think it'd be Wrexham, Notts County, Chesterfield, maybe Solly or Moors, those kind of clubs battling. You can see Boreham Wood and Bromley are no mugs, they're up there as well. But look at the stats here, 31 goals scored. Wrexham are coming out so well on the XG as well. They could have scored more with the chances they're creating. It goes to show they've got quality to create these chances and quality to take them. And defensively, uh, other than Boreham Wood and Wildstone, joint best defensive record. It's incredible. That's a plus 22 goal difference. So it's really, really strong. Let's have a look at the players that are standing out in the goal scoring department for Wrexham. As you'd expect, Paul Mullen is a monster. Uh, goals per 19, 0.9 pretty much. That's nine goals for him. And what's good as well is, I mean, I've always thought Paul Mullen is that shining light at Wrexham going forwards, but they could share the goals quite nicely. You can see plenty of different goal scorers there. Ollie Palmer's not far behind. He's on seven for the season. Elliot Lee has picked up three. Aaron Hayden with three. Jordan Davis on two. Ben Toes on two. A couple of players on one as well. So, the goals are being shared around, which is quite a good thing, because obviously, as we all know, if a player picks up an injury, Paul Mullen, it would still be a massive loss, but at least Wrexham know they've got backup and um, other players that can step forward and score those goals. This is massive now. As I say, this is the table. Coming into tonight's game at the time recording this, Wrexham are up against second place Notts County, and the thing that makes it even more tricky is... It's away. This is the fixtures for tonight's games. As I say, Wrexham are up against Notts County, which is there. That is the main game. That is the big game. Uh, Notts County, a massive club as well. Massive stadium. Great fan base. I'd expect a great crowd and Wrexham to take loads of away fans. That's a massive game. I really... I know it's early and you might think, oh, you, the winner of that might still not get promoted and the loser might still go on to win the league. But it really does feel like a defining game. Wrexham could open up a bit of a gap. I know Chesterfield are also in the mix. Chesterfield tonight take on um, Chesterfield are at home to Dagenham and Redbridge, who um, who are further down the table. They're about 14th. But it's, it's a really, really tight race. The thing I've said before, which is so unforgiving with the National League, is... Um, you either have to win the league or win the playoffs. It is so unforgiving. You've got to be so, so good. And um, I think the thing is as well, if you make the playoffs when you're a side like Wrexham, it's not the best. I mean, obviously, I still fancy Wrexham to win the playoffs, but they've been in the playoffs before. You really have to win that league. Otherwise, you're giving yourselves, uh, you're giving other teams an equal chance. Like I say, I think Wrexham could do it. I've said it from the off. I think Wrexham could get promoted this year. For me, Wrexham have always been a strong side in the National League. They've always been one of those you'd consider to be up there. But with that back now from Ryan Reynolds who came in over a year ago it's making the difference isn't it like I say it's such an unforgiving league it's all about breaking through the National League because as discussed I almost I'd go, I'd go as far as to say promotion from the National League is probably harder than promotion from League 2 because once Wrexham get up into League 2 four sides then get promoted to League One. So the, the, the door is open wider for Wrexham to then follow it up. And the promotion bounce could be something, but it's all about this season. Yes, I think if they don't go up this season, they'll be strong again next. But it's 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 just so frustrating for the Wrexham fans. They just want to get up this season. Like I say, I really think they could do it. They're showing up good on the table. They scored the most goals and the expected goals suggest Wrexham are going to win the league the way they're going about it. The bookies have got them top as well. But like I say, it's games like tonight away from home, which is going to separate the men from the boys. Can Wrexham do it? So then do I actually think Wrexham are going to do it? Well, I said from the start of the season, I think they will. And I'm standing by it 10, 11 games into the season. There's a lot of media attention at Wrexham at the moment. A lot going on. Can they perform under the spotlight? I think they can. Massive game tonight against Notts County. Will they keep it up over the season? Time will tell. Let me know if you've enjoyed this video, guys. Drop a like. Make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.